Hey, what's up y'all? Today I'm gonna be talking about controller versus mouse and keyboard in Halo Infinite. I'm gonna be talking about the strengths, the weaknesses of each one, uh, which one I think is better overall, which one I think is good for you, depending on your experience. And just so you know, I'm not speaking out of my ass. I have extensive experience on both controller and on mouse and keyboard. I grew up playing all the Halos. I competed in Halo 2, I competed in Halo 3. Obviously that was controller back then. I played Counter-Strike and Rainbow Six on PC growing up as well, mouse and keyboard. So I know a thing or two about the inputs and how they work, including aim assist and all that. So if that's of any interest to you, please stick around and check it out. Excuse me, I'm kind of sick right now. If I sound a little nasally, that's why, but it is what it is. It's not COVID, okay? And just so you know, I've been a keyboard and mouse player for the last five years exclusively. I haven't touched a controller in five years. I just started playing Halo again, Halo Infinite on controller about a week ago. Um, I play Onyx in both controller and mouse and keyboard. I can keep up in both and do well in both. But I'm not saying like I'm a Halo Pro on controller yet. Okay, so first let's talk about mouse and keyboard in Halo Infinite. What do I think about it? Overall, it's pretty good. Honestly, it's good. It's really nice to be able to react to things in Halo like we've never been able to before. You can hit flick shots a lot easier. You can acquire targets very fast. You can switch targets very fast without aim assist getting in the way of that. One big thing is you can use the equipment a lot better in my opinion. Uh, the grapple, the thruster, everything. You have all your fingers, all your fingers to use. Throwing grenades fast and accurately is way easier on mouse and keyboard. I can track a little slit in the door in about a millisecond, uh, adjust height properly and throw it exactly where I want it to. So much better on mouse and keyboard. Sorry about that, buddy. You can do that well too on controller, but it's just not as fast as mouse and keyboard. But obviously, let's talk about the one big area mouse and keyboard is lacking, no aim assist. And if you've played Halo, you know aim assist is very, very prominent. It's very important. It's a huge, it's always been a huge part of the game. The thing that's kind of a shame in this one is mouse and keyboard is pretty good on every weapon. Really good on some. It's really good on shotguns. It's good on snipers. It's good on any precision weapon. It's really good on the commando. I think it's better on mouse and keyboard than controller, the commando. But the one place that controller just dominates is the battle rifle. And if you're a competitive player and you like playing ranked, or if you wanna play in HCS tournaments, the battle rifle is your meat and potatoes. You spawn with a gun. And on controller, it is just so much easier, so much more consistent. It's a lot better on controller. And it's a shame because I honestly like every other gun in the game better on mouse and keyboard except the battle rifle. I've made the decision to switch to the controller, even though I'm way better on mouse and keyboard as a mouse and keyboard player. Like I said, I haven't touched a controller in five years since Halo 5. But yeah, I gotta bite the bullet, switch the controller. I'm already noticing I'm way more consistent playing in ranked and Onyx Plus with the battle rifle with the controller. I'm winning way more 1v1s. What I'm not doing is hitting sick clips with sniping, with sweet um, grapple and then instant 180 melees. You can do that on controller, but you know how it is when you turn on controller. Even if you have full sense, you're never gonna get the instantaneous 180 of a mouse and keyboard. You can be really, 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 really good on mouse and keyboard. I just think at the top, top, top level, like pro teams, the aim assist on the battle rifle is just gonna take precedence. So I'm not saying if you're playing mouse and keyboard, drop mouse and keyboard. No, I'm not saying that at all. If you like that and you're way better at it and you don't wanna do controller, then don't do it. Right now, I'm struggling with controller. I'm doing okay, but I'm struggling. But I know in my heart, I can't be the very, very best I can be on mouse and keyboard in this game. One area that I think a pro mouse and keyboard player could do, they could play on a team and have a very specific role. That's far range battle rifle support, power weapons like sword and uh, shotgun are all super good on mouse and keyboard, um, better than controller, I think. But as far as does 1v1 challenges with battle rifle, nah, mouse and keyboard is not gonna compete in pro level. I personally can't stand losing 1v1 battle rifle fights, so I'm switching to controller. Right now in Onyx, I'm switching back and forth, um, seeing like what happens and what I'm noticing so far is, like I said, those 1v1s, I'm winning way more on controller. Even though I'm not like a super good controller player, I'm winning way more 1v1s. And that in itself tells me enough about the way the game interacts with the controller. So if ranked play and HCS play wasn't battle rifle starts, I would have never touched a controller in Halo Infinite. I would have stayed on keyboard and mouse because honestly, in big team battle, when I'm on keyboard and mouse, I'm dropping 30, 40 kill games. And when I'm on controller, I'm not. I'm dropping probably between 10 and 25. Because like I said, the battle rifle is really the only gun that I feel is better. The pistol, maybe, the auto, the auto aim on the pistol does help, but you can use the pistol pretty well on mouse. This is obviously all just my experience with Halo Infinite, but I've played Halo my whole life. I know how it is supposed to feel when you shoot somebody with a battle rifle. And sometimes when you're shooting people with the mouse and keyboard with the battle rifle, you feel like your bullets are just 
disappearing, man. It gives you no grace at all. You need to be aiming at that person and leading their strafe with every single battle rifle burst or you're losing the fight. I'm gonna show you a quick example on controller of where aim assist helps and where it would not help you on mouse and keyboard. So right here, this guy jumps around the corner. I get this weird shot right before he goes around the corner and it gives me the kill. It gives me the headshot. On mouse and keyboard, this would not happen. Those bullets would hit exactly where I'm aiming over his shoulder which I'm not really aiming at him, but the aim assist with the battle rifle controller gives me the kill. So yeah, if I could suggest one input for you to choose as a beginner or as an aspiring pro, I would say controller. Unless 343 ends up changing something about the way the battle rifle works on mouse, <clears throat> it ain't it, bro. It's just not it. And yes, there's some absolute demons on mouse and keyboard. And it's just how it is. It's really frustrating when you get up in a very close 1v1 battle rifle fight and they're doing unpredictable strafing and you just, there's no way you can win. Now I'm obviously talking about if you're at the same skill level as the person you're playing against. Like if you're high onyx, and the other players are high onyx and they have a controller and you're in a close battle rifle fight, you're not winning. Like literally nine times out of 10, you're not winning. You have to play like you're on mouse and keyboard in that rank to keep up, which you can do. But as we all know, not everything is in your control in Halo. Sometimes you do get in those close range battle rifle fights, but those people are sticking with mouse and keyboard because of all the other pros it has. Like I said, I can tell you when I switched from mouse and keyboard to controller, I started getting a multitude of perfects. That means four shot kills with the battle rifle in games. And on mouse and keyboard, they were kind of rare to be honest. I truly believe I will not have as many cool clips to post because I switched to controller, but my sanity will be saved because I can win 1v1 battle rifle fights. Like I said, these are my opinions. This is my experience with the game and the inputs. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you've had a different experience with mouse and keyboard and controller. Either way, I just had to get this out of me. Get this out of me. Get this off my chest. I think that's how they say it. I want to thank you for watching. If you liked the video or if you did not like the video, let me know. If you want to see more Halo Infinite content from me, throw me a subscribe. And don't you dare forget to like the video. I'm just kidding. You don't have to like it unless you do like it. Then you should probably click the like button. All right, I'm going to go drink some peppermint green tea with honey to get rid of this freaking sore throat. Y'all have a blessed day. See ya.